In this video, I'd like to review the invert layer method for editing a color infrared photo in uh, Lightroom and Photoshop. This would typically be done with an infrared photo shot at, say, 590 or 720 nanometers. And this is an alternative to the red-blue uh, channel swap that's typically done with the channel mixer in Photoshop. Uh, this is a different method, uh, which I think has some advantages, so I want to go over that today. So, uh, first thing we want to do is prepare our image. I'm going to do this in Lightroom, but you could also do this uh, in Adobe Camera Raw if you wanted to keep your workflow entirely within Photoshop. So, we'll start with uh, selecting a profile. Um, instead of the Adobe profiles, I'm going to select a profile that I've custom created, um, and I'll have a link um, up at the top of the screen there if you want to watch a video on how to create your own uh, custom profile. Uh, for use in Photoshop and Lightroom. So I'll select this uh, profile and that gives me more latitude with uh, white balance selection. So now I can pick a white balance and what I'm going to do for this image is I like to pick something neutral. Uh, so I'm going to go with the rocks here um, uh, in the cliff shore and that will create some separation between the sky uh, which is now yellow and the foliage which is this blue color. So, okay, now that I've got that set, now that I can, I can edit my image in Photoshop. So uh, let's cl right click on the image and select edit in Photoshop. All right, now that I have the image open in Photoshop, first thing I'm going to do is hit control zero uh, to bring it up to full size to fill that viewport. Um, now I need to create an additional copy of the layer. So I'll hit control J to duplicate the layer. Next thing I want to do is I want to invert this copy of the layer, and I can do that a couple ways. I can either go to Image, Adjustments, uh, Invert, but I actually just find it so much easier to hit Control-I, uh, and that will invert the image for me. Now that I've got that done, it doesn't look so great at this point, but if we go down to select the, this layer, the duplicate layer we just created and inverted, and in, under the Layers uh, Blend Mode, if we select Color, Boom. Now all of a sudden we have, uh, we have our blue skies and our colorful foliage, um, and it looks pretty good. And what I, what I, there's a couple things I really like about this method. First of all, it's just a couple of short uh, keystrokes to be able to make this happen. So it's actually much faster um, than uh, doing a channel swap. And then the other thing that I like is that the blues tend to be more natural. When I'm uh, normally working in Photoshop to do this, I will, with, with the, with the uh, red-blue channel selection method, I will typically add an adjustment layer of hue saturation. And then when that's done, I can select uh, the sky and I can make hue adjustments to tweak the hue of the sky and then foliage. I don't really need to do that with this method, which is really nice, but I can still uh, do it for the foliage. I like the, the, this color blue of the sky. Let me get onto the foliage and you've got a you can make this all kinds of greens and yellows and reds. I'm going to make this a nice red color here. Okay, so I've got that the way that I like it. So now I'm all set um, in Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is uh, flatten this image and then save it. And now I can head back over to Lightroom. Okay, so we've got this image back over in Lightroom, and now I can do um, all of the standard processing that I like to do. So uh, let's... Uh, put a little bit of a tone curve on it so we can um, bump up the contrast. You know, we'll do a lot of things to address the contrast. I'm going to bring up the exposure a little bit, maybe a third of a stop there. Now, uh, let's see, let's, uh, let's do a couple um, uh, graduated filters. We'll start with a graduated filter in the sky to give us a little bit of dehaze. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I'd like to do another graduated filter. This time I'm going to do it from the bottom uh, because uh, we've got a nice foreground here, but it's very bright and it's very uh, commanding. So what I want to do is just uh, reduce the exposure, maybe a third of a stop, and just uh, draw the attention towards the middle of the image. Okay, so that looks really nice. Uh, maybe add a little bit of clarity just a bump. And now I'm going to tweak the colors just a little bit. So let's head down to the HSL area and I can use this picker uh, to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to darken the sky a little bit more. So we'll, 
we'll have luminance selected and click and drag down just a hair just to darken that sky up a bit maybe add a little bit more saturation to the sky and then I'm going to adjust the reds so I'll start with the luminance I want to bring this down a little bit it's a little bit bright and I want to reduce the, the chroma a bit uh, bring the saturation down it's a little heavy with these reds make it a little bit more natural as natural as you can be with an infrared photo okay so that looks pretty good so there we have it so this was uh, editing a infrared color photo using the channel invert method with Lightroom and, and Photoshop you could also do it with just Photoshop um, and I really like the results that this gives you hope you enjoyed thanks <laughs>